Ross McCutcheon here. I'm director of bands in the Sunderbring Conservatory of Music at Gettysburg College, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Majestic Theater for a tour of our show, The Prom. So we're coming around to the stage door. There is Aiden, also Hi. known as Barry Glickman. Yes. Gonna have a great final show. Yes, sir. Can't wait. It's gonna, gonna be great. Here we go to the stage door. We're gonna come inside the beautiful Majestic Theater and see a little bit of what there is to see. Before we see the pit, let's take a look at what the stage and the house look like. As you can see, we're getting ready for the show. The stage is all clear. We're getting everything cleaned up and ready to go. Hi, everybody. Say hello to our stage managers, Joelle and Heather. Hello. Getting ready for our final matinee and our closing performance of The Prom. Here we are in Gettysburg's Majestic Theater, and it truly is majestic. Look at this house. We're so lucky to have a space like this here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and to be able to share our art with everyone in our surrounding community. The Majestic Theater is a fully functioning theatrical space. Musicals, touring shows, musical acts, concerts. The Sunderman Conservatory annually puts on a number of concerts here. This is one of the dressing rooms here in the Majestic Theater. As you can see, we're here before the cast has arrived. We have four dressing rooms like this in the Majestic Theater, large dressing rooms for many people. There's also a star dressing room and dressing rooms specific for Orchestra Pit, which we'll see downstairs. In addition to the theatrical performing space, we also have a rehearsal hall here in the Majestic Theater, which as you can see is equipped with projection and mirrors for rehearsing dance. We're on our way down to the pit now. We're going to say hi to Mike World. Hello, crew. Hi. There we go. That would be where the actors go to get mic'd up. Of course, the pit orchestra is downstairs. There's the stage door going back onto the theater. You can kind of see some of the set pieces there and people getting ready. All right, here we go, down the stairs. As usual, musicians are kept in the basement where we belong. <laughs> there you go. And here we are in the orchestra prep room. So this is a backstage area before we get into the pit itself. This is a nice place where the orchestra can kind of hang out and be ready to go. The most important thing on the orchestra prep room is the candy table. We're very proud of our candy table. Over on this side of the prep area, you can see some of our cases for our instruments and dressing rooms for the orchestra members. This is my dressing room. I'll take you in and give you a quick tour. You can see I've got way too much stuff on my desk and some clothes there on the rack. We're getting ready to go. So now that we've seen the Majestic Theater backstage and a little bit of the orchestra prep area, let's go check out the pit. We're gonna go up the stage right side. This is gonna take us towards our rhythm section. Uh, I'm gonna come up first and we'll kind of take a look here at what we've got. This is our guitar chair. Shane Anthony plays guitar for us, plays both acoustic and electric. And then over here, we've got Joe LaMarca on bass. Joe's playing, again, acoustic double bass and electric bass. We've got a couple of bass amps down here, one for each with a mixer sending a signal out to the house. And then over here are Shane's guitar amps with some SM57s ready to send signal out that way. So let's go visit with Keys One. Keys One is the heart of the show. And our Keys One player is Lindy Mack. Say hi, Lindy. Hi, guys. There you go. So Lindy's going to show us a little bit about what he does during the show. We're going to come around back so you can see. He's running a Kurzweil PC3 LE8 keyboard. We've got a Macintosh over here with main stage running. Patches by Keyboard Tech. Big props to the Keyboard Tech folks. That's all going through a Presonus uh, interface and into his mixer here, which is sending a mix of sounds and direct outs to the house. And then his personal monitor is a little Mackie hotspot there, which is a great little trick. You want to show us a little bit about how this works? Sure.
over here, we've got what we call keys three. Those of you familiar with the problem will know that the problem doesn't actually have a keys three book, but it does have a string book. It has violin one, violin two, violin three and viola, and cello. And because of the size of our pit and the space that we have, plus the musicians we have available to us, unfortunately, we don't have strings. But we do have keys three. And there you go. We're playing that on synthesizer. So from here, let's follow the route that I take every night. I come around here and step over this monitor and climb into the conductor's cockpit. So I've got a big desk for my score, a little side table there with a metronome and some gaff tape, pencils and post-it notes, all the things that you need. I am using full score for the prom. I'm so grateful to the orchestrators and of course theatrical rights worldwide for making a full score available. It makes everything so much easier for me. The downside of course is that this is the first third of the show. This book, oh my goodness, is the second third of the show. And this book is the last third of the show. Altogether, these things are probably about three inches thick, uh, but thank you so much for making that available. Boy, it sure does make the job easier. I've got a ClearCom headset here where I can communicate with stage management. There's my ClearCom belt pack, which I've tied onto the monitor, and then a little Galaxy hotspot monitor so I can hear those vocals nice and hot. So right in front of me is our drum set player. Mark Hunsberger is our drum set player. Mark is great, and uh, boy, he really lays down those beats for us. As you can see, it's hard to get from one side to the other, so the easiest way to do that is to use our backstage crossover. We're gonna go down the stage. Yeah, different camera, so my camera died. Now we're on the phone, but I wanna finish this tour for you, so let's get that done. So now let's go up into the stage left section of the pit. Uh, we've got our percussionist's station, some cymbals, acoustic instruments, uh, bongos, tambourine triangle, and we're using a mallet cat. So using the mallet cat allows us to get a lot of instruments in a very small space. You can see over here we've got main stage running. This main stage was programmed by me in conjunction with Owen McDonald, our percussionist. When we hit the, uh, when we hit the keys, we've got a xylophone, we hit our foot pedal, changes to glockenspiel, changes to timpani, Now, normally I would not be playing someone else's instrument, except that this is actually my instrument. It's my Malakat, uh, which we're loaning to the show, so I don't mind playing that. As we come over here around the corner, you can see our woodwind chairs. Our first woodwind chair is Reed Two. That's Justin Morgan. He's playing most of the Reed Two book, including Barry Sax, Tenor Sax, and Clarinet. Then we move into Read one. Read one is being played by Orazio Thomas. Orazio is playing the uh, tenor sax, alto sax, clarinet, and flute. And then we've also split out the flute book. Uh, so Juno Bratton is playing uh, regular flute, uh, alto flute, and piccolo. Over here are our brass chairs. You can see the bass trombone's already in position. Michael Trop plays trombone and bass trombone, and Jacob Hunkins plays trumpet. From this angle, you can get a better view of the whole wind section and percussion section. You can see we've got some AKG 414s in here to help amplify the winds where needed. There's an overhead AKG 414. There it is, just to pick up all of the acoustic percussion. Hey, there's Owen. Owen, he's our percussionist. Say hi, Owen. Oh, hi. There you go, getting ready for the show. Uh, he's going to be putting all of his stuff together. We also have some stage monitors down here so that the winds can hear the piano and the drums. Owen's got a stage monitor tucked way back in the corner. Uh, there's our drum set once again, uh, the conductor's station where I sit, and of course, Keys 2. Uh, Keys 2 is a critical part of the show. Keys 2 is played by Greer Garver, and Keys 2 works the same way. Uh, it's using main stage patches. The Keys 1 and Keys 2 patches are by Keyboard Tech, and we'd like to thank Keyboard Tech for all of their great work. Uh, Kevin from Keyboard Tech is amazing, and if you have a chance to give him a call and use their services, please do. I can't speak highly enough of the way he was able to help us get all of this running. Kind of runs the same way. We've got uh, different sounds, and when you hit that foot pedal, that changes to... That changes to the appropriate sound as we go. So let me give you the view from my station as I see it every night.
To my immediate left, I've got keys one, we've got our guitars and bass, and then of course our drum set player right in front. So that puts our rhythm section all to my left or to stage right. Over here on the right hand side, we've got keys two, there's keys two for the show, and our wind section, our brass sits here blowing across, and then our woodwinds are tucked in the back underneath the stage left side or the conductor right side, and then far to the back is our percussion station. So I get a pretty good view of everybody. They can see me really well, and it's a great way to be able to lead this show. If you'd like to learn more about Gettysburg College or the Sunderman Conservatory of Music and ways you can find your music, give us a shout. We'd love to hear from you. Or check us out on the web, www.gettysburg.edu.